Hi everyone! So today's video is going to be my best of 2012. Um, this video is so long that I have to separate it in two parts. The first part is going to be mostly um, hair, body, um, and face stuff. And the second part is going to be mostly makeup, nail, and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's start with uh, my hair product that I am um, have been really, really loving. Um, uh, the first thing would be my shampoo and conditioner um, from Pantene. Um, this one is the Brunette Expression. Um, it has one for blonde, but um, it's basically um, a shampoo and conditioner that will um, help the brown or the blonde in your hair. Um, it will make your color more vibrant. It will keep uh, a nice... Uh, brown in your hair and it claims to um, give you like if you have like kind of like highlights or um, different tone of brown in your hair it would kind of play with that and um, deepen or um, make your hair a nice richer brown um, and I find that it really really works um, just be careful if you have like a, that ombre um, type of hair and your end are extremely light you might not want to use this because it's going to get the, the lighter part of your hair a bit um, darker um, so just make sure that you know you keep in mind of that but I found that it's a really really nice um, shampoo conditioner that is fairly cheap uh, around eight dollar each uh, bottle uh, that will help um, keep a really nice rich color uh, in your hair um, when it comes to um, anything that to help my hair look shiny and nice it would be my Moroccan oil um, this one is uh, called uh, glimmer shine spray for all type of hair uh, at first I really hated this product just because I find that it was uh, making my hair very greasy but I found out um, that it was because I was putting too much of it um, you only need really one or two spray of this um, like all over your hair and you can even brush it and play in your hair a little bit um, just to take off that excess product that your hair doesn't need uh, it will make your hair like super shiny and it smells uh, really really good oh and I found recently another uh, product that is a bit cheaper from Mark Anthony and it's called repairing macadamia oil treatment and it smells really really good and um, it does pretty much the same thing but it's a little pump form and you put it at the end or where you need a little bit of uh, you know shine and height uh, and um, hydrate like if you have like the end that are a little bit dry um, this will really really help and I've tried it only like this is one of the newest product that I've tried uh, and I am really really in love with it and to be honest I love this product because it smells so much like uh, my Amir um, Argan Oil, Argan Oil uh, Moisturizer. Um, this is my favorite, favorite moisturizer of all time. I've tried so many kinds, but I always, always fall back on this, uh, this one. This is actually my second bottle. And uh, you can get it on the website or at... Uh, what's the name? It's Max and Company. It's a beauty supply store in Montreal. I'm going to try to find the name. I always get that name mixed up. And I'll put it down below for you guys. And it's the only place that I have found this uh, product. And uh, it smells amazing. It keeps your skin extra hydrate, hy hydrating. Um, and, um, and I find that it keeps my tan really, really nice and long. Um... And that's it for that. Uh, when my hair needs um, a little bit of pick-me-up time, uh, I usually put this Julep El Elixir Organic Mor Moroccan Argan Oil. I got this with one of my uh, monthly boxes and I am absolutely in love with it. I would put this um, only at my only at the ends of my hair where it's, uh, it's dry and uh, I would put it overnight and wash my hair in the morning and it would leave my hair extra smooth 
you can actually use this uh, it says on your hair nails and skin for healthy youthful and radiant result you can use this daily but I only use this when uh, when my, I feel that my hair really really needs uh, some pick-me-up uh, so that's pretty much it for hair uh, on to the uh, onto the hands. Uh, my favorite hand cream in the moment would be from Soap and Glory, and it's their Great Shake Hydrating Hand Cream. I really like this because it's it smells really good, um, and I usually put a really thick coat on um, before sleeping at night, and it would be like a savior for my hand. My hand, I would wake up with my hand super smooth. And um, and uh, very very uh, very soft. Like where my cuticles are, it would be extra smooth, and I wouldn't have that problem uh, like I used to. Because I wash my hands so much that my hands tend to be super cracky. And this year, I haven't had that problem at all. Same thing with my feet. My feet get really dry in winter, and this Corel has saved my feet. And it's their foot therapy smoothing cream for dry cracked feet and it says that it hydrate and soften dry cracked feet just in two nights and it really really does i would put this every night before sleeping and uh, i swear to you my all winter my my feet has never once been uh, cracked um so it has been a complete savior for me uh, when I'm not using my great shakes, uh, I usually use this uh, body lotion from Bath and Body Works, and it's their Country Chic, uh, Country Chic, Chic Champagnard. I'm sure you've seen this before, and it smells so so good. I love it so much. Whenever I um, have to have this on my uh, hands, I have so many compliments. People ask me what uh, hand cream did I use. And it's mostly uh, this one or Paris Amour. Uh, for face moisturizer, I've been using this vitamin C moisturizer from uh, Made From Earth. I'm just going to show you the, the lid. Made From Earth. And it's an uh, organic um, face cream for uh, all skin type. And it's uh, rich in vitamin C, which is extremely good for your face. Um, I find that it it would keep my face extra moisturized um, and smooth after using it and I'm let me show you I'm almost at the end of it uh, so it I've been using this every every day and night before before sleeping or heading out um, and I this is amazing and because it's organic it makes it even better for your uh, for your skin it has that little Oat, oatmeal smell but um, you'll get over it um, because it's so good um, for lip moisturizer whenever my lip feel very um, chapped and cracked I would use my derm store lip quench um, like this that I got in my um, in one of my subscription service in the past and I am totally in love with this um, I've tried many lip um, balm and none of them um, is compared to, com comparable to this. I find that this is really thick and um, it, re it lasts a really long time on your lips and it's extra hydrating um, for your lips. And it comes out uh, like a little pinky thin, like like baby, it's actually really hard because I'm almost done out of it, it's like a little thick. It's really, really good. Um, when I feel that my face needs a little pick-me-up or um, I feel that it's very dry, I would use my Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Overnight Mask. I would put this um, a thin layer over my face as if it was a skin moisturizer and I would leave it overnight and in the morning it would leave my skin super plump uh, fresh and soft and uh, it's a it's a, it's really really nice on your skin you have to try it if you have dry skin this is a lifesaver in winter or if you tend to do long uh, flights this is absolutely amazing um, I'm 
coming at the end now. Uh, for oh, for oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these two masks that I really really love too. Um, these are clay masks from Freeman Feeling Beautiful, and I have two of them. Uh, my f and they're I love them both. I have a ton of these, but these I find that these two works the best. Um, this one is the mint and lemon argyle um, mask, clay mask, sorry. And this one is the avocado and oatmeal one, which is really, really nice. I would put this on um, when I feel that my, my face is dry or blotchy. Um, I would put this on and leave it to dry for like 10, 15 minutes. Once it's dry, I would wash it with warm water and it would leave my hair, uh, my hair. My face super smooth and uh, glowy. I would tend to exfoliate my skin before doing that with their Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Exfoliating Scrub in Pink Grapefruit. I love the smell of this. This is really, really nice. Um, it's These products are extremely cheap. They're like anywhere from 4 to $5 at uh, Loblo's or Walmart. And it does the job so well. This one is um, the the grains are very soft, but it uh, you can feel that it's really working into your skin. For body exfol uh, exfoliating um, scrub, it would be my best best holy grail one it would be the Saint Ive um, Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. Um, if you're someone that have dry skin, you go tanning or you use tanning lotion, this is the scrub for you. Uh, it will take all, all that dead skin out very easily and it will leave your skin super smooth and with a really nice fresh smell. And it's this big tub is, I, I could use this for like a couple months easily and it's only like 5 to $8. And my favorite tanning lotion would be hands down Saint Tropez. Um, this is their bronzing lotion. Um, you can get this at Sephora. I know that they do a like a foam mousse type of um, bronzing lotion, uh, bronzing uh, self tanning uh, mousse too. But I really really enjoy their uh, their lotion. It leaves you with a really nice. Uh, bronzy skin without that orangey or that um, fake tan smell and it's amazing I've tried so many and it's not it's never comparable to this and you will not be orange I promise um, and the last thing would be this little it's not a perfume it's a fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret and it's called body by Victoria and I actually it's actually my second bottle um, and I have a travel size um, spray too i love it so much i feel like it's such a light uh nice girly smell yet it's still it's not too fruity but yet it has like that little flowery smell it, it smells really fresh um of course it's not like a perfume it's not gonna last you all day but i feel like whenever i spray on it i spray on myself it it's amazing so you need to go and try this out if you have a victoria's secret close so that's pretty much it for my um, hair and body face um, stuff that I've been loving in 2012. It's all stuff that I've um, bought m bought many times and have used for the whole year or even longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for part two. Um, it's going to be all makeup and I know you guys are going to love it. So see you soon. Bye.